This is Kathy Crow at Kathy Crow's Cards. And <laughs> good for you, Andy. I know you're going to be here even if you aren't here at this very minute. Um, and my lighting is weird. I'm sorry. I'm trying to... My <clears throat> big light in my room went out and I didn't really realize that till just now. But anyway, um, today I am going to do the Cuckoo for You uh, stamp set. This is such a cute stamp set. And I actually was going to do Halloween stuff today. Um, because that was what I was working on last week and I wanted to do that today. But um, this is just so cute that I wanted to do it. So um, let me look down here for just a second um, and get on my video page. I'm, I'm going to try to keep track of everything that's going on on that. And um, Anyway, uh, let's see. What else is going on? So the school is almost started. That means that I don't have to worry so much about what Jeff is doing in the next room. He did surprise me coming home for lunch today. Uh, I didn't expect him home, but um, he popped in for a few minutes, so that was nice. And uh, and then... Um, uh, and I have to still go on my bike right now. Tomorrow is supposed to be the hottest day of the week. So I'm hoping it won't be too bad when I go out today. It should be not too bad. I've, I've kind of learned what streets have a lot more shade than others. And so I will just try to stick with those streets that are a bit shadier. So, all right, Andy, you found me. Awesome. I'm sorry I was a little late today, but, um, just, um, it's gonna be it's gonna be hard to get back into my normal routine, especially with Jeff just popping in like he does. So, um, but let's see now. The other thing is um, that uh, the holiday catalog is coming very soon now, and then you're gonna be able to order this set. This is in the ho I think this is in the holiday one. Yes, of course it is. Cuckoo for you. And this is so easy to do. When I saw it, I was a little hesitant about when I would be able to do it on a Facebook Live because I wasn't sure exactly how, how easy it was going to be to do. And it actually is super easy. And we, you will see how, how easy it is. And um, anyway, so I, and then at the end of this video, make sure you share the video anytime is fine during the week. If you do it now or, or later, it's fine, but I will put you in the drawing for next week to see who wins that prize. I'm going to go on at the end of this um, video. I'll stop it for a minute, find out who shared, and then I will, um, make sure I do the, the, the drawing for for that and um good so andy i'm so glad that you are here with us i'm i do need to you're gonna hear i hate hearing my voice on it's fine coming out of my head but when i hear it on the video it drives me nuts but i have to hear it for just a second while i get the um the video here going and then i will but i quickly um, can get it I'm off Whew, there now it's gone that's nice and then i can see comments down below because once I turn this camera down, I won't be able to see comments anymore. So Terry, it looks like Terry's on. That's awesome. Thank you, Terry, for watching. I sure appreciate it. Make sure you share the video and then watch at the end. Um, when I'm all done, I'm going to shut it all off, turn it on again, and then we'll do the drawing for last week. So um, anyhow, today what I am doing is we're going to make this little card, this Cuckoo for You card. I am going to use the, the Twal Christmas um, uh, label. I love the labels. I, I actually really like this set. I'm going to use it a lot um, because I like the cardinal. So I'll be using this a lot, not just for Christmas. But the labels do have words in them. So the labels are are kind of Christmassy, but it would not be hard, I don't think, to um, figure out a way to stamp this so that you can get rid of the words on it. Now, I'm not sure exactly how to do that because I'm thinking as I'm saying that, well, not, it, yes, um, you can do a masking sort of thing, and we're going to try that later, but not today. I haven't really played around with it enough to know what's going on with that, so I'm going to... Flip the camera down. Today's project should go fairly smoothly and quickly. We'll we'll see. My camera 
um, I had to plug it in because I didn't realize that my phone was not charged at all, hardly. And um, last week when I was doing this, even though it was not a very long video, I don't think, it um, it showed that I was on a low battery. So uh, um, thank you, Andy, for sh sharing and commenting that you shared. I can't see whether people um, really shared or not unless you do write down that you shared. So I appreciate that you did that. Um, it also just helps me at the end next week when I come to see who did share. Again, Facebook hides things from me, not intentionally, but just because of um, privacy issues. There's a lot of um, things that I cannot see. So unless you write shared, I can't know that you did and then you wouldn't get entered into the drawing. So make sure that you do this. So. This is the card we're going to be making today. Oh, it is so cute. I really like it. Now, I when I went to put this together today, oops, I lost my, um, I'd lost the little uh, pendulum. <laughs> so we will have a pendulum in there. I just clipped off the end because I couldn't find it. Anyhow, um, we will, we will get that in there. I did find it, of course, after I cleaned my desk off to get this project going, but, um, when I was actually making it, I could not, I couldn't, um, couldn't see it. So anyhow, I am going to be adjusting my camera still because I don't think I'm really getting all the area I want. So, um, I will continue to do that as we go. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is I already cut and scored a piece of white cardstock, um, four and a half or four and a quarter by 11 inches and folded it in half. So that's your base card. And then I took the, um, this is our giving, our, our gather together DSP that's going to, that is in the holiday catalog too. It's, this side is really pretty. And actually this, I was, when I started doing this, I was going to use the fall accents on this cuckoo clock um, to do the fall version. I might do that as we go along. I've, um, I, oh dear, did I, oh good, here it is. I did save out a piece of, um, of this DSP. So we might get two done here today. We'll see. I'll, I'll think about it and we'll just continue as we go. So I just cut this, uh, four and a quarter by five, uh, five and a half. It looks like it's just a bit, um, short on one side, just a tad. I probably cut that just a little large, so I'll have to trim that, but I'm going to just glue that down. That's the first part you're going to do is you're just going to glue or, um, uh, you know, or uh, tape that down. So I'm going to just do that really quickly. And um, Jeff and I are, I think, since school has started, we are back for sure. We're not going anywhere yet for a while. I'm going to go to Boise and um, and I'm going to take a little trip to Spokane in September um, just to um, uh, get some more family visiting done that I really wasn't able to get done as much of because Jeff's not as big into visiting all of our family as I am. So um, I am going to be gone a little bit there here and there doing that. But um, for the most part, I'm back and it's nice to be back because I I enjoy being in our our garden and playing with all of the flowers and whatnot. So it's been nice to be back and to be able to enjoy all of that. And and um and I've actually really enjoyed playing with all of this uh holiday um card stuff because it's gotten me in the mood. I really wasn't in the mood for any holiday stuff yet. And uh and when I saw some of the back to school things in the stores I was thinking oh no I'm not really ready for fall and all of that yet but but playing with all of the little stamp stuff has gotten me in the mood so that's good because actually I do it's probably the fall is probably one of my favorite times of year so it's nice to feel a little bit more festive while um enjoying some of that so 
All right, so we've got that done. And then the other thing that we're gonna be using is, um, oh, I should probably get the DSP that this pack is from. So hold on a second while I jump over. I've, it's kind of hard for me to uh, get where I'm going because I have to move all kinds of things out of the way. I try to get all my things um, together but invariably I always forget something. So, excuse me while I jump around in this room. Um, so this, it, the, the DSP I'm using is the Wrapped in Plaid Specialty DSP, and it's beautiful. Each side has a gold foil striped plaid. And I thought that they all had that, and I was right. I wasn't 100% sure, because in the catalog, you can't tell that there's, I mean, it looks like it's all, there's a gold accent on each one, but in the catalog, you're, it was hard to know for sure, but they are. So when you get this, you're gonna be assured that every piece ha of the plaid has a gold fo foil stripe down it. And, um, and so that's making it very, um, very desirable for me. The piece that we're using today is this cute, as the other side. Now on the other side, there's not gold, gold foil. These are the, the patterned sides that are not the plaid. Um, I don't think any of those have gold foil on that side, just the plaid side. But today we're going to use this cute little um, Christmas tree side, and um, and that's that's this this one. Okay. Anyhow, I love this. I'm going to use this for Christmas. I bought two of these packs because I know this is going to make a lot of really nice Christmas cards. So. Um, I wanted to make sure I had plenty of it, and plaid is something you can never have too much of anyway. So that's gonna be um, the, the other piece that we're gonna put on there. I'm just gonna set that aside for now because we're not actually ready to get to that point. All right, so what we wanna do is we're gonna stamp out the cuckoo clock, and I should probably get my stamp apparatus out because I wanna make sure that the whole, the whole thing stamps out nicely. It um, It's kind of, a, well, it's a little large. It's not too terribly big, but it's big enough that I'm a little concerned that my um, stamping ability might, might have trouble with it. So let's get out my plates here. That goes there. And then since it's a photopolymer piece, I'm gonna um, need the foam. And then I'll just put a little piece of paper in there, the paper that comes with that. Okay. And let's see here. All right. I <laughs> have an hard time fitting everything. I've got my phone cord sort of dangling down in front of my face, which is um, making it a little harder for me to move things around here on my desk. So, uh, but I need the plate to be flipping this direction. Okay, so we're, we don't really need to cut the paper. So it's just whisper white. And, um, and so I'm going to just kind of stamp it here in the middle. And... I believe I used black memento. I wasn't 100% sure when I stamped it what color I was gonna do. Cause again, I was thinking I might use a, do the fall thing. Oops, I need my magnets. Let me grab those. All right. So there we go. I, my sister, when she found out, we went to Carson. We went to these this place called Carson Luxury Cabins. They really are luxurious. They're very nice. There's a nice um, jacuzzi in every hotel um, room. They're all separate cabins too. It's not like you share a you know a wall with anyone. And their landscaping is such that you really don't see the other guests too much. That was nice. We were there during the week when they might not be as crowded, but there were still, uh, 
you know, quite a few. There were at least, I don't know, 12 other people um, there. It's small, and um, it was really nice. But I ex went there because I, I was thinking, we, now that stamped pretty well, so I probably don't need to do it again. I But um, when I did it before, it, it didn't always do that center um, as well. So that's why I thought I'd probably better use my Stamparatus, but it looks like it's going pretty well. If you were careful to press hard in the center, you probably wouldn't need to have the Stamparatus to do this, this set. But when we went, I thought this would be a great place for Jeff and I to, Jeff wanted to make sure we had a chance to just get away the two of us this summer. And, um, and so that was kind of what uh, that was set for and um and I wanted to do it when I knew it was going to be hot in August there's always some time when it's hot and I'm and I every year think oh Jeff let's go somewhere and then he always says I think it's going to just be as hot in the mountains and I think well no I don't think it is and then when I look at the hotel rooms though they're also terribly expensive that I just think well it's not worth that. So this time I got that, you know, I got a fairly good deal on it because I I paid for it and a, a while ago and got a better rate. So at any anyhow, it um it was really nice. I thought we were going to get a lot more um hiking done, but I I should have known. Jeff is not a big hiker and um we did get some nice hiking done and and um and it was very pleasant and i enjoyed it but i did realize you know what i'm i'm the one that likes to hike and jeff doesn't and if i want to do a lot of hiking i'm gonna want to go um on my own <laughs> so i probably will never go back to the carson cabins again i don't there really wasn't enough to do in stevenson and white salmon are the two towns that are near it and they're really cute town. Uh oh, look what I've done. Oh no, I think I've lost my. <laughs> oh no, I've lost the hands of my clock already. I used it and did not put it away, and I don't see it on my blocks that I had out. I'm sure it's stuck to a case or you know or the bottom of my shoe or oh my goodness this is hilarious this is just so typical of what happens to me every time when I stamped this <laughs> I must not have put the little hands away right away because I don't see it Oh my goodness. This is this is so funny. So, we will find the hands at some point in time because I will scour this room for it. But <laughs> we're not going to have the hands to do. I'm looking at my trimmer cuz I had it out and the problem this is the one problem. I love those photopolymer stamps, but the one problem is that they, they stick really well to everything. And so, unless you're really good about putting stuff away, I'm sort of feeling around on my desk because I'm thinking, I know you are here, little rubber, tiny, tiny rubber stamp. I know you're here, and and where are you? But um, I don't see it. Oh, I think I see it on the floor down here. Hold on. I think, I hope, maybe that's just a piece of sparkly paper. Hi. Yay, it is my little hands. Okay, that actually was a pretty easy find. I thought I was going to have to. <laughs> Hilarious. Okay, we have our hands, so that's good. So I'll, what I, I I'm going to cut this out, so I don't really need to worry about um, how I stamp the rest of these things. I do need the little tree, so... Um, Let's take the little tree out and we're going to put, um, we're going to use, let's see, we are going to be using um, early espresso to stamp that little tree. 
Okay, so I'm gonna just stamp that on the side. And let me grab my you see that simply chamois stays pretty even when I clean it, it doesn't really look clean, but that's just the way those do. And then we're gonna just stamp everything that I'm going to use. Now on my card, I'm using, instead of the little door, here's the little door, I am using the, the, um, oh, where's my black, there it is. I'm using the reindeer because this is the Christmas one, but I'm gonna go ahead and stamp this door anyway uh, because I, if we have time to do another card really quickly, which, um, we might, uh, then I'll have that door all stamped and ready to go. And actually, I didn't even, I forgot, I didn't really need to do that because you are gonna, I'm gonna stamp it on the end. Um, if you use the door, you're just gonna stamp it on the end of that long piece. And I, I don't know if that long piece will fit now where I just stuck that. So let's look at that really quick. Because if I need to stamp it again, I can do that. This is where your little door is going to be. And I think it might just barely work there. We'll see. We'll find out if it will. Okay, and then the next thing is I need to stamp my little reindeer. And so let's grab him off of here. Uh-oh, did I, I almost forgot to put my door away. Um, let's grab that reindeer, there he is. And we're gonna do him in this early espresso also. And then the, the um, I think what I'm going to use for the now I I used I used um on my card I used black memento for my little pine cone weights but I I might use this is new in our catalog. We've got a gold one and this copper one. I think there's a silver one too. Celestial copper. I've tried the gold one and I really liked it. And so I think I'm going to try um stamping the um pine cone weights we're gonna we're gonna do a couple of extras and see because I'm not really sure this is gonna work so well with coloring it because they do have to be colored and uh, and I'm not so sure but we'll we'll see I really liked the gold and I did the hands with this copper to see this is the first time I've used it to see if I really liked it but it's it's actually really nice I have some other um, Oh, um, I have some other, you know, metallic ink pads. I, and I have to say, these are better. I'm really glad that um, Stampin' Up! is carrying this because these are much more sparkly and pretty than the other ones are. And while I have it out, I might as well do the hands because I'm not, the hands do not have a die cut. So, uh, which I'm so grateful. Um, uh, they're tiny and um, I do want it to say it's almost, it's getting towards 12 o'clock. So that's what we're gonna do is it's getting towards 12 o'clock there, which would be, this is Christmas Eve, um, the time, the probably one of the happiest times of your childhood, all right? Christmas Eve, almost midnight, Santa's almost here. Um, I love that. All right, so that is the Celestial Copper. And then, let's see, we do need our little pull handle. And I actually think I might use my copper for that as well. So this is the part that is going to be on the that door um 
Well, so we'll go ahead and I'm not sure if I'm going to get the placement of it right and I'm probably going to end up having to re-stamp it. So maybe I won't stamp that one. But I do need to do, do one. The one that we're actually going to use for my reindeer, um, I'll, I'll do that. Okay. And I think all we have left to stamp is the... Twall Christmas tag. Now that I'm gonna use um, cran, I think I've got cranberry cobbler out here for that. Okay, so this is what we're gonna use, cranberry cobbler for the Christmas tag. Let me get rid of my espresso. I think we're done with that. And Hi Marty, how are you? Are you watching your grandkids today? Today, um, uh, when I was listening to the radio, I heard another plug for homeschooling, and I thought of you. And um, uh, just realized that, yeah, if, um, where's my, I just had it out. Where did I just, oh. <laughs> My tw oh, there it is, right here underneath. Okay, so there's my Twal Christmas. So if you are a homeschooler, you're probably not quite as excited about school being back in session as I am, but actually maybe you are because um, when we were homeschooling our kids, it was nice to be able to go to the store during the school day anytime you wanted to and know that it wasn't going to be swarming with people because once school gets back in session... Um, the days are, or, you know, stores and places, they're a little less frantic. There's a lot of people are not there. Their kids are in school, so they don't come at that time. So that is Cherry Cobbler. So it's kind of nice to have school back in session. It just sort of slows, for me anyway, you know, having to go shop or to do little mundane tasks it's nice to to not have to wait in line so much now i see where my copper was when i cleaned that stamp it it did leave you know some metallic glitter on there but i will make sure i wash my stamp my uh simply chamois off really good when when i'm done here today all right i love this ribbon it's so pretty and um, so you could, what you could do is if you wanted to have a different sentiment is you would, you would want to have a scrap piece of, of, um, you know, cardstock right here so that when you stamped, what I would do is I would stamp this and then cut as close as I could to those words and then keep that little piece in my stamp set. That's probably what I will do for all of these eventually. And then I'll have my masking um, cardstock ready to, to tape down. You could just, or you could even just use washi tape. Washi tape over these words. Stamp it where that's going to be. And then you could peel that off. And then you could put other sentiments on here. Because these are really pretty ribbons. So it's just something that you would be able to use in a lot of different ways. If you didn't want to use it for Christmas. You would not have to. So anyway, that's what we're using for our Christmas sentiment for this little cuckoo clock. And then I believe I have, I think I have everything stamped that I'm using here. Oh, I did forget the little, that little bob. Now the little bob is gonna go at the end of, um, he's gonna have to be cut out and he's gonna be stuck on to one of these. So we're gonna definitely want this one in that copper. Um, anything that's likely to be metallic, you would wanna, I'm gonna really like using this little metallic um, ink pads. My, I think the ones that I had before were, um, oh, what are they? Uh, they're, they're like, um, they're vivid. Um, hmm. I don't see them handy here, but I do, I do have some, I just, I kind of stopped using them because they, they just weren't quite as, um, as metallic-y as these. And I, 
I just sort of got tired of you of using them. They didn't seem to be quite as zingy as I would have liked. All right, so we'll get this put away. Now, I last week I mentioned how I always lose the plastic of this. That's why I never really peel it off when I'm playing with stamps on my own without doing Facebook. I just peel off a part of it and keep it on because otherwise I lose that. And I've got several that I found stuck over here in my desk, but I still haven't found the stamp sets they actually go to. And um, I will one day, I will find them. All right, so now what we need to do is uh, I'm gonna just take my uh, my crumb cake stamp pad and we're gonna just, I'm gonna just um, sponge this so I can color this background a little bit really quickly. Um, I'm just gonna do this. And it is gonna go over the edges. I'm not too concerned about that. It's, um, you know, gonna get cut out with the uh, dye, and um, my little in inner bird is gonna cover some of that. So I'm I'm just it doesn't have to be perfect. This is just just to get it not to be white. I could have stamped it on very vanilla, and I could have stamped it on uh, any other color cardstock if you wanted to have it maybe look a little neater and tidier than what I'm doing, then you then you might want to do that. But um, I actually want something pretty vivid for my uh, cranberry. And actually, while we're right here, I'm gonna use that to color in my little pine cones. And then that way I won't have to worry about the copper smearing on that. I'm I was a little, a little not sure about if I use my crumb cake, which is what I would have used. Wasn't sure if that copper would smear. And I, I don't want to cover up the copper at all really either. So I guess my, if I just kind of been careful, I could have just used my blending pen and it would have been fine. But um, anyway, using the sponge makes it go a little bit faster. All right, and then we're gonna use, we're using Cherry Cobbler, Granny Apple Green, the um, Crumb Cake. I've actually pulled out an old paint pen. Now this is a Zig oil-based paint marker. It's got gold on one end, silver on another. I love this. You do have to shake it. And I'm just using it around these little circle, just in a few places, just to give a little bit more um, sparkle. And then this is just clear um, Wink of Stella, which is what I'm going to be using on this label. Oh, I forgot, I was gonna sponge my label. So let me grab my crumb cake back out again and, um, and my little finger sponge. And we're just gonna sponge over that because again I just don't want it to be white but I didn't want it to be so dark sometimes sometimes that blending pen is just a little little on the dark side and I also wasn't real sure that it might if I colored pretty quickly after stamping sometimes it can bleed a little bit too so um, just for speed I'm using this little stamping guy. I don't have to worry about the words smearing a little bit. It, it did just a tiny bit right here. You probably can't even see it, but it did just a tiny bit. Then I took the light cherry cobbler blending pen. This is the light one. Oops, I don't want the fat tip. I want the tiny tip. And we'll just color in the where the lines are just to Get a little bit more color on our ribbon. I love that ribbon, it's so cute. Okay. There, that is done. And I'm probably going to want to color my, I'm gonna use the dark crumb cake just to color my, oh, strip there that's the pull part and then we'll bring our little 
little guy back in here. And I don't, I don't think I'm using any more crumb cake. Oh, I forgot. I am for the, for the little reindeer. Um, we will use the light crumb cake for him. Okay, we'll just color him pretty quickly. Right like that. I better use the other side of that pen for his ears. They're pretty small. We just had a, a friend of ours, um, we're gonna, this is Rudolph, <laughs> right? I don't know that he had reindeer antlers. I think antlers were the problem. That's partly why they made fun of him is he didn't really have um, good antlers, but we're gonna make him Rudolph anyway. <laughs> Maybe this is Rudolph after he's grown up a bit and Pete, the, other reindeer are not making fun of him anymore. Our friend had, who's a new grandma, congratulations, Karen. I, um, her daughter had a rough delivery. Oh my goodness. So I was thinking about how difficult that is. It's probably one of the most scary things that you go to do when you're a new, um, adult, you know, um, when you're, having your first baby it's you cannot ever read the inch oh hi jewel it's nice to see you i'm glad that you are checking in make sure you share the um i'm a reader and i like to you know have all the directions for things before i st start anything so having a baby is like one of those things you cannot you can get all the information you need um, and all the information that's available to you through people and books and doctors and all of that. And you're still, don't tell anyone this if they're a new, if they're expecting, don't tell them this, but they can't possibly know <laughs> everything. It's not going to be at all what they expect. And it's just, um, for people like us who are little control freaks, it's pretty, pretty hard, hard to deal with. Harder still for the husband, I suppose, to have to hear about all of that. That might be even tougher because he's got, there's nothing he can do about it. He just has to hear about it. And, uh, you know, he doesn't know what's going to go on either. It's kind of scary for him as well because that's, this is his wife we're talking about. So it's just a very hard time for for um, young couples, no matter what. So anyway, I'm I'm so happy for my friend and um, glad the baby came safely and was delivered. It's just it was a tough delivery, and that's just always that's just always very hard. Okay, so for Granny Apple Green, we are going to use the light and the light one, Granny Apple Green. Get all those little sprigs to try to make it color coordinate a little bit more. Some of these I'm gonna use my little, I think I'm gonna use my little gold pen on, so. Not the leaves, but there's other little circles and things here, and um, I believe that's what I'm doing with those. So I think I got the leaves pretty well. Let's let's grab the let's grab the tree while we're right here. I'm gonna just put some darker stuff on it down here on the bottom and then color it with this lighter one. Blend that in a bit. With coloring, practice is the only thing that's gonna really do much for you. Um, you can, it's helpful to to get help with the experts. They're out there on YouTube. There's lots of experts. Helpful to watch people, but you really just have to dive in and, and practice, practice, and then you'll get much better. And then just have grace with yourself. You might never like 
oh, somebody else is always making that better. But the fact is, is that they're not. You're just really hard on yourself. You should just lighten up and enjoy. Enjoy what you do. All right, I think for the door, I'm going to want that darker. That darker one. At least to start with. And then we'll try to blend that in just a bit. Okay, and then we'll use this fine end to go over those lines again and the outside. Now, again, I don't even know that I'm going to use that door, but just in case I do, we're all set. And then I believe I'm going to go ahead and just color in this backdrop. Not much of that is going to be showing because I'm going to have my little reindeer right over the top of that but I think it would have it might have been nice to have it now I, at, now that I'm saying that I'm thinking hmm, I don't know maybe I will want it white but we will see we'll find out so this is where I used my little gold pen hi Carol it's nice to see you. thank you for sharing awesome thank you for commenting that you shared because it's really hard for me to know if people don't do that and I always feel bad when I'm doing my drawing and then realize later somebody shared because they said they did but if they didn't hit con you know comment that they did I couldn't couldn't really know that jewel I <laughs> today after this I'm going to shut the camera off again and get it going this time I'm not going to do my drawing out in the yard I can do it right here Jeff's not home he's busy at school and so I don't have to hide out so much um, since he is not home. So I'm gonna just use this little gold pen to put in some of these little highlights. And uh, that's just gonna give us a little more sparkle. And then for the, the circle, I am gonna have a hard time doing this with my glasses on. I normally, I take them off to get my head right over the project to see what I'm doing. And as you can see, this ink pen, it, it can leave a little glob of um, gold there. So it can be a little bit tricky and messy. Just try to go, don't press hard, try to, try to go easy on it. This is not in our catalog. You would have to get this on, you know, at Hobby Lobby or so, any craft place has it. It's the little painty, has a, it comes in copper and others too, but this gold silver um, is perfect for what what I am. I use it really just at Christmas. I you when you push down, ink pours out. So um, if you've never used one, I would recommend getting it. It is fun to have, but again, I really only use it at Christmas time. And you can get a little carried away with it. it um, it's really best with accents and um, it's just a matter of trying to match up what I did on one side with what I did on the other side. And I see I missed a little leaf there. Okay, so I think I'm finally done. So we'll put that away and grab that little leaf that I missed right there. I think I got those all colored pretty well. And, okay, the other thing that I forgot to do that I want to do is use our Wink of Stella on the label. Because I did want just some, this is where it's smeared. Okay, I knew there was some smearing that happened on it. And you can hardly tell. But I really didn't care if the color smeared a bit. I just don't want those words to smear. So as I'm using my Wink of Stella, I'm going to kind of avoid my words a little bit this time. I don't care so much about this area. Some of that red can bleed in to the ribbon and it's going to look good so I don't mind that I just didn't really want my words to smear so I'm going to be a little more careful this time and try to dot around it and then coloring here is fine okay so I don't even know if you can see because this that's the one bad thing about our camera stuff is glimmer does not show very well on camera but 
Oh, it is gorgeous. Love that. And um, really, if you wanted anything glittery, um, Wink of Stella is going to give that to you. So I used that copper, um, and uh, now I'm just, and then I just sponged that uh, little crumb cake over these, and now I'm going over it with Wink of Stella, and that's going to look so cute. And I think I should probably do the same thing with the little, um, the the little uh, what is that called? It's all right. I could have used my pen too, but um, sponging is pretty fast and and uh, doesn't give you any lines. You don't have to worry about it so much. Okay. You know what? I'm just having so much fun with it. Let's just go ahead and put it over there on the tree too. What the heck? And on his nose. All right. So we are going to put that Wink of Stella away before I get any more on it. And now you get to see how all this cuts out and assembles. And it's actually really quick and easy. So I'm just showing you guys that popped in just now. Um, isn't that a reindeer adorable? It is, Terry. Thank you for saying. This is that, um, that DSP. Oh, I've forgotten already what it was called. It is called the, um, wrapped in plaid. And so we're using the little tree side, which is not the gold side, but I don't really care. We've got a whole lot of gold on our paper, so it, it, isn't he cute? I'm going to work on that later. I've been, I've got all kinds of little projects going here and they're all, <laughs> they're all like floating all over this desk, but I do need to make a space for the, um, cutting machines. So I am going to move my camera up, um, a bit. So we will see more of this space and hopefully it won't be quite so claustrophobic, um, Make sure I'm tilting it correctly so that you see what, what I want you to see. And there's the, this is the cuckoo clock dies. And this is the Christmas cardinal dies. Okay. So, let's grab that out. Hi, Mercedes, how are you? It's nice to see that you're joining us. Um, okay, so now what I need to do is we're going to cut out... All of these little pieces, I think I'm going to start with this end first. I'm going to just tear that off. I, um, I don't want to lose any of these little pieces. It's easy to do. All right, so we are only using the Christmas Cardinal dies for this label. Um, that's the only thing I needed out of here. I could have just grabbed it and left it out on the side, but the reality is, is if I had done that, then I would have probably lost it. All right, so let's stick that on there. My plate's getting pretty warped, so let me turn it over so that it, there's some magnetic action happening there. Okay, now I'm, I'm gonna bring this closer to me because I cannot, I don't wanna mess this up and if I don't get my head right over it, I can't really see if I've got it in position properly. All right, so we roll that through and there we have our nice little label. We'll stick that to the side and then we need to cut this cuckoo piece off but before I do that let me put my little label away and put those aside so I don't lose that because I need to just kind of dump out all of my cuckoo clock pieces here now on my my um, folders I write the name of the because now our old folders had the name of your dies you know they were inked on permanently. I'm using my stamp, you know, my my uh, Sharpie pen to write the name of the dies and then the name of the stamps that go with it. And actually 
the one of the reasons I wanted to get this cuckoo oh this cuckoo clock is actually in our our um, annual catalog isn't it I forgot the reason I got it is because the yummy Christmas stamp set oh I don't have that yet I don't think yummy Christmas has a set that is going to go with this um, oh there it is let me grab it I do have it um, Oh, he's cute. Little gingerbread house. And this one has this Christmas tree, which I probably could have used today. Oh, and this as well. But I'm going to do this set later. I'm not doing it today because I am going to be doing this. And there's a little gumdrop and everything. Oh, it's so cute. So uh, I had to have this cuckoo clock. And because it's so easy to do, I, I'm i glad that I they had that Christmas one because um, the... Okay, now here's the deal. This, this um, really quick interlude... Uh, there's an arrow that points. Now the arrow, you want it pointing up. And so, having said that, the with the arrow piece, what you're using, actually this part, yeah, it's this one. This is the part with the door, okay? So you want this arrow to be in the middle, kind of. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, it would be nice if it was, though. So I might have to... I'm going to cut two of these. That way, if I flub this up, I can stamp it again. Because I actually want that arrow to be down here at the bottom of this. Well, maybe not exactly at the bottom, because I'm going to put my pendulum right there. So kind of in this middle of where this handle is. So I'm going to count cut two of these because I'm not convinced, since I can't see through this, I'm not convinced that my lines are going to be really where I want them to be. So I will just do, I'll do three because I was thinking I might have time to do another um, card, but oh my goodness, my clock is already going. Now my clock is going to say one o'clock and no, it is not one o'clock. It's actually two o'clock. I just, um, I pre, I had to reset it anyway. Actually it chimed two, didn't it? That's pretty funny. It's going to chime one next time because it's actually been reset. Did the chime once or twice? I don't really know. I don't, my little picky tool, I don't have handy, so I'm going to have to all right, we're gonna just do that. And then we get to see, yeah, so now you can see, no, it didn't stamp properly, really. I'm gonna have to redo that. Um, so I'm gonna just put that aside. We're gonna, um, we're going to get out my other scrap and I'm gonna cut out two, two of these so that I have them ready to go oh my goodness my cord my <laughs> i had to plug in my phone and let me see what's going on here okay there we go my goodness that felt like it barely did anything did it actually cut Oh, I don't have my other plate on. I was going to say, what happened? It just rolled straight through. Well, that's because when you don't have the other plate on, that's what happens. It doesn't actually cut. It just rolls through. But this time, we will use the plate. <laughs> it's always helpful to do things the right way instead of just haphazardly. And I think I'll just use this and maybe it'll poke it through. No, it didn't, of course. I didn't get my little pokey tool out. It pokes these holes better than my little scissors do. Okay, there's that. We'll do a couple more. Oh boy. Go, 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 go. And I'm, I'm eager for you guys to see how easy this is. 
the Stampin' Up! video shows how easy it is, but every time I see one of Stampin' Up!'s video, I think, uh, yeah, I see that it's super easy for you to do. And I also see that you maybe stopped and edited your <laughs> video at some point. And um, so that makes me wonder how easy really is it? You know, how many steps are there really? And um, I don't know if the Cuckoo For You guy, when he did it, if, if it ha was stopped and edited. I don't remember. But I think they might have done, uh, done it in super fast motion. And, um, and that also makes me uh, wonder, okay, what's really going on there? Is it as easy? It is though. It was, it's super, super easy. So I'm excited for you to see that because sometimes these action things don't look or aren't quite as easy as, as you would hope them to be. All right. So now we want to get all of our little pieces cut out and I want to make sure my plate is turned in a way that I'm going to get really good magnetic attraction going there because I don't want that shifting around and I could put out put in some of my other ones and do more than one at a time here but it's very frustrating to go to all the trouble of stamping and coloring and then cutting and then have things shift around because sometimes when you have more than one magnet on the um, on the board, the magnet these the dies attract each other as well, and uh, as you can see, it's kind of flipping around there. So I'm going to have to move it to the center because this. This is getting very warped, and um, there's only one of the little pine cone uh, guys, which is unfortunate. That means you do have to run that through two times. I don't think there's two. Here's the little reindeer guy let's see if he'll go on no he, he it's not it's just it's wanting to shift so we're gonna go ahead and just let it be and we'll run it through again <laughs> i could have cut all these out ahead of time so that you didn't have to see the tedium of this but i didn't want to because actually this part is not that big a deal um this is the easy thing cutting these out but it's the assembly that's a little iffy and um, this assembly is super easy so i really did want you to see from start to finish how this how this went i'm um, just getting the magnet to actually stay where you want it is probably the more challenging part of it all okay i think he's lined up there pretty well uh-oh, my paper's sticking out there, though, so that's not going to work. There we go. I'm uh, That's the part that drives me crazy. I like to have that perfect. Sometimes it just doesn't want to go perfect. All right, almost done. Pop that guy out. Oh, those are so cute. And maybe we can get the reindeer and the tree let's let's do this let's go tear 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 get rid of my trash and then we can put this in the middle where my mag my plate is bent and it's lining it up a bit better there okay and the little tree yeah i really like this set it's so cute this is gonna make a really nice Christmas set but this actually I the yummy Christmas I'm gonna be using that one for Christmas for sure but I think that this is gonna be one of those cards that I'm gonna make a bunch of birthday cards for my uh, little kids at church that I do birthday cards for I I am um, I send birthday cards for to everyone in our church who wants one and so it's a lot of Christmas or birthday cards so, but wouldn't this be cute for them to play with? I like to do, for the kids, I like to have ones that they can actually play with. 
And um, now I haven't used this piece yet and I still need to, so I'll keep that one out. I did forget to stamp the little bird. The little bird needs to be done. So we're gonna stamp him on the side here really quick. I, I don't think, I think I forgot to do him. And there he is, he's that little cardinal and he's really cute. You definitely want that on the inside of your door when they flip open the door. You want to be able to see that cute little cardinal. So we'll we'll want to do him with um, black memento ink, and I'll just stamp him really quick right here. And then he's probably one that um, I can color. I usually like to color things uh, before I cut them out, but this little guy is so small. I think it'll be. I don't think it'll be difficult to do that. So put those pieces on the side that one on the side and we'll grab that little bird and we'll cut him out let's get him where the magnet is oh come on magnet stop stop being difficult where's his little feet his little feet have to go right in there there we go Okay, we'll just gently put that blade on there. And there's the little bird. Ho, 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 he's so cute. All right, so now I'm done with my scraps, I believe. I wanna get this little bird into the dies package. Get all of these in. Now this is the little squirrel, he's cute. There's little rabbit. Um, I did not use that door. Um, you can do the door separate if you want to. I, I also did, uh, oh, there are the hands. I could have done the hands separate. Now that is something I, I just didn't think about. And um, that would have been cute. I could cut out of foil, cut the little hands. You'd want to use a brad. And then that way your little hands could spin. Um, wouldn't that be cute? But I don't think I have a piece of foil handy. Maybe I will use my extra scrap of DSP. I wonder how that would look if I used that. Let's just do it really quick since I've got, got it right here. And then and we'll see how my hands cut out of that, that color. Because I don't think I have a bunch of scraps laying around, but I don't think I have a piece of foil handy but foil would be best for sure okay i'll definitely need my pokey tool to get that out i don't think my little scissors are going to do it let's see let's give it a try and see oh it did it did poke it out now it is um it's a pretty good sized hole for your brad and it actually is a, is not a solid so, hmm, I'm not so sure that I'm as fond of that as I, I thought I would. I thought they were going to be solid, and it's not. So, anyway, now we know. Did I cut out, I don't remember cutting out the, oh, there it is, the pendulum. Yes, it is cut out. All right, now this piece is for the house itself. So, what you do is you get their hearts so that you can line those hearts up right where you want it. This is gonna put, oops, I gotta turn it over. This is gonna put just two slots. It's not gonna cut anything out. It's just gonna put two slots right where you want it here on the house so that your little door can open and shut and it is gonna work like a dream. You're gonna love this. Okay. So we'll just roll that through. Oops, did it go through? My plate kind of was half in and half out. All right, that went just fine. So let me get rid of my plate and the big shot. Whew, and then it's nice to have a little bit of room again and I can move my camera down too. So hopefully we can see everything a little bit better. Sorry, I'm kind of moving things about a bit. All right, now, let's see. So this is what we're doing. 
Um, let's grab our card out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just take a piece of braided ribbon and we are, oh, I forgot, I need to tear the bottom of my DSP. I'm gonna just leave it large for the moment. I'm gonna tie this on, tie it as a little bow before I stick it on because that way I can adjust my bow and I can adjust everything um, how I want it if I don't attach it yet. So we're gonna tie the bow before we attach this piece and then I can, I can adjust my ribbon however I want to. Because I do want it on the side. It doesn't have to be on any particular side. It just needs to be on the side somewhere. And then you can take your ends and fray them. They look really good when you do that. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time doing that. I would fray it up quite a bit. And then we are going to, now I can slide it up to where I need it. Because what we're going to do is have it positioned oh about here some of the cards showing here some of it underneath so we're going to start the tear um, right about here because I want to tear a little closer to my bow and then it's gonna go down okay so it's kind of going up and down and I still need I purposely did it a little lower I didn't want to make it too short you know so I'm gonna need to tear just a tiny bit more off on this side but I wanted it to kind of come up and then down, you see. So I did that on purpose. I got a little bit too much there. So we'll just tear that off. And then you can get the edge you want. If you kind of mess with it, don't just tear, you know, too quickly. You can get it the way you want. I actually want just a little more right there showing. So, oops. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna also, show you if you tear this direction more like I started it by tearing down the problem with that is, is that I don't get all this white edge where the tear is and that's what I want I want to see this white edge and then you can roll those edges and um, and that gives it kind of a vintagey aged look too it's really cool so it, the direct the the way you tear your paper makes a difference. If you tear going up, then you're going to get a nice edge. If you tear going down, it, that is a cleaner look. It's still a tear, and um, and sometimes that's what you want, but um, it's just a cleaner tear. And I don't want a clean tear. I want I want that white edge. So that's where that's going to be. And I'm going to just go ahead and stick this on. I don't have anything else going underneath, so I can just put my dimensionals right on here. I'm gonna just liberally apply a bunch of those. Oops, that backing came off already on that one, which is fine. And especially down here where that bow is, I wanna make sure that's stuck on there good. And then we get rid of all of my little edges. All right, oops, let's get one more right here. And then making sure my card's opening <laughs> the right direction before I stick it on. Um, it's very disheartening to waste a lot of dimensionals just because I couldn't uh, take the time to check that before I stuck it on. So there, oops, my ribbon's almost coming off on that corner. Let's get that guy back on there. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to just stick that right on there. And now your ribbon is nice and secure. You don't have to worry about that. And everything else is going to go on here with your dimensionals too. Okay, so let's get um, my pieces up and let's put this guy away before I lose it. I'll stick him in there. Throw away my trash so that I don't throw away a piece while I think I'm throwing away my trash. We'll just get that tr thrown away right now. Okay, and then these are all of my little pieces that we've cut out already. Oh, they're sticky. S not too... too to my desk, not to me. My desk has probably got adhesive all over it. All right, so those are our pieces, and this is the piece that I was gonna 
stick right up here. But, you know, um, I really would like this to be straight on here. So we're going to, thankfully, I can just take my... Um, let's use the um, that copper again. And we'll get that that stamp piece out. It's this the one with the arrow right here. And we'll grab one of these. And they have it, there's a, a place to fold it. And they have this little fold so that it'll um, make it super strong. Okay, so I'm folding that. And now I can just use my, my, uh, now because they're photopolymer, they do bend and you wanna make sure it's nice and straight. And I want that arrow to be pointing up at the door. Okay, so now my arrow is pointing up and I got it on there pretty good. It could have been a little better. And since I've got these extra ones here, I might as well just do them um, while we're while we're just standing around talking at the old water cooler, which is what we used to do when we were kids. And I doubt that any office has a water. Actually, now what we used to have anyway, didn't have a water cooler in the same, they still do, but it's all fancy water. It's not like just water in a, um, coming out of a faucet anymore like it was in the old days it was um, now it's it's uh, it's fancy water and you have to pay for it it's not gonna be just free maybe your company would pay for it that would be nice but at school there was no company to pay for anything um, we had to pay for it so we all chipped in you know 20 bucks at the beginning of the year maybe another 20 at the end of the year who knows depending on how many people were sneaking water that weren't paying for it? That always happens. And then, then you would have people standing around the water cooler chatting at times. But for the most part, I don't think, I think that's a part of Americana that doesn't happen so much anymore. Now you take your little cuckoo clock and you are going to just slide your, your little hit from the top here. You're going to slide it in there. And you're gonna slide it in here so it shows. This is how you're gonna operate your door. It has a little stopper there, and that stopper you want to go on the back. There we go. Okay, so now this one, I had sponged the one that I was going to use, and this one is not sponged, but that's okay. We're gonna stick our little reindeer guys head right on there. Let's use a half of a dimensional for that. Okay, we'll just stick that on his little red nose. Oh, Frosty the Snowman. That There's a whole bunch. Of, they should have a little Frosty the Snowman on here. I think I would like that. I bet I have one I could do. Okay, so then you're going to just pull or push up and oops, so I need to have his nose higher. His nose is that low, it's not gonna push up properly. So his nose has to be higher. And then he flips down when you push up. Okay, so flip, flip. See his nose is still a little on the low side. And w as you can see, I don't really have my arrow pointing where I want. I stamped that up a little bit too high, um, but um, that's okay, I can use my little pen and put my own arrow on here. Okay, and then people will know to push up to get his head to go down. All right, now my little cardinal I that I um, stamped but didn't color, I know you are here somewhere, there you are. So we're gonna color you really quick and then we're gonna stick you on the inside. So we'll just use um, the light cardinal red, no, cardinal red, <gasps> cherry cobbler. That's what we're using, cherry cobbler. 
We'll just use the light cherry cobbler and a little granny apple green for your little, yeah, little scarf. And just a tiny bit of my dark cobbler here. All right, there we go. And then we need another little teeny, teeny, tiny piece of dimensional here. I don't know if it'll stick, but we'll give it a try. I could just put some snail on it. That would stick really well, but we'll try the dimensional, see if, it, see if he's gonna stay. Because I might want to shift him. I don't really want him to show. And when I stuck it on before, he had a tendency to show on the sides. Not too bad, just a tiny bit. Okay, so as you can see, with two dimensionals, that's not going to lay down flat enough. So I'm going to have to snail him on whether I wanted to or not. So we'll take off his little dimensional because that's going to be too, too fat to not lay down. But now that I've made a little torn piece, I do know exactly where I want my snail. So that works out okay. And we'll stick him right on there. Oops, there we go. Okay, so now you are on. Perfect, whoo, cute. I could just play with that all day. And then this, the other reason I'm putting um, a, this tag on the bottom is I really didn't like the way this all came together. I really wanted a bow here. I didn't really necessarily like how that all was going. We're gonna have our pendulum on here. So we might have to stick our pendulum like way, way down here. I might even just stick it on the ribbon. I think I am. Because that's not gonna really stick the way I want it to. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my snail on here. Get a few little dabs. And then I can stick the ribbon right where I want it. Oops, let's make sure it's kind of want it like there. That way I can see my arrow. Okay. And then we can take our pendulum. We're going to stick our pendulum on here. We're going to put this snail on the pendulum, just half of it, on the front of it. And then I can stick it right where I want it. Right there on the ribbon. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with my little weights. I'm gonna stick them right to my, my ribbon instead of up here on my clock. Now I could stick them up here on my clock like this if you wanted to. There's a lot of different ways you could do this. So you could have your chains kind of showing if you want. Um, you know, actually, I might want to do that. So let's go ahead and put, I'm going to put some little dimensional strips down here. Um, let's take some scissors and snip, snip just a little bit of my dimensionals. So I just want, want a tiny bit. So that it'll go on the back side of those chains. Okay, there's that one and that one. Oops, I didn't take the sticky backing off. All right, there we go. That's good. And then we'll take the sticky backing off. I'm gonna put this on the card where I want it so then I know I'm getting my my little uh, weights on where I want them also. Okay. All right, let's get one on the top. And I'm a little hesitant to put them on the bow or the ribbon of it yet because I, I don't want it to interfere with where 
I'm going to be putting the the um, little weight chain. So we'll we'll wait and stick this on the card. I could put a dimensional really. No, I couldn't. That's got to be movable. You don't want to put one. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I forgot. I This has to move, so I cannot put dimensionals on there. Okay, so we're going to stick this on here, like right there. Oops. Not there, right there. Oh, you are so cute, little great reindeer cuckoo clock. I want a little cuckoo clock like you. How sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay, so now you can do your your um, weights however you want. I'm gonna have mine dangling down a little bit farther um, than if I had them stuck up higher. Okay, and then I want one like right here. Okay. So there you go, like that. And then your little tree goes on wherever you want your little tree. I'm putting him on the side. And there you go, isn't he cute? All right, I love that. Took a little longer to do than I thought it would. <laughs> and Andy, thank you. I don't know if that is um, a compliment or not. Sometimes the uh, patience is nah, don't don't pray for patience. <laughs> I'm just gonna say you might not want to pray for that. Okay, um, you're since I stamped it, I'm not gonna want to put a brad on that. But I could have put a brad on it, and then that could have spun. Um, I do kind of like it now that I've looking at it so I'm gonna go ahead and and um, put a little bit of snail on here and uh, we'll stick you down right over my hands okay just because it you can you can see it a little better than my my gold ones and we are done isn't that cute so make sure that if you want a very special action card for your nieces, nephews, grandkids, neighbor kids. This is a perfect stamp set for it because even I've done other things for my little two-year-old granddaughter and she wasn't able to, you know, she's too little to handle, you know, little intricate things. But this is just a push up and down. They can, they are going to trash it right away. Don't get your heart, you know, set on it lasting for very long. It's going to last, you know, probably 10 minutes, but they will have a blast with it for that 10 minutes. And you, again, because it has this little rabbit, you can do um, a birthday easily, a birthday thing. They have time to celebrate. Um, I'm cuckoo about you or a hello you, any of those could go on a tag there you could do any kind of a tag here it does not have to be this Christmassy ribbon one and um, again just gonna quickly show you the yummy Christmas and be ready to do this with us um, that is gonna be I am definitely doing a class with this this is probably gonna be one of my Christmas classes is this little cuckoo clock using yummy Christmas so having said that make sure you register for my classes um, the one that's coming up this Friday is already filled I think that there might if somebody really wanted to come and they registered by tomorrow there we could I know I could fit one more person in we could probably fit um, two people in if they you know if, if we needed to so it is possible two more I know I could get one more in but um, this Friday that class is not available online because I could not sh ship it to you now in time um, for my September class though there's one coming at the end of September and we are going to do the um, uh, royal peacock and oh, one of my little rhinestones fell off get you back on there so this is a beautiful card love it and you're gonna have all these little rhinestones and we're gonna actually do some sparkly embossing on that and then we also are doing this concertina 
um, little photo album. This is gorgeous. Look at that. You are going to have such a blast making this. And I haven't shown all of it to, because I didn't really want everyone to see everything that's in that because people copy things. And I really wanted to keep this to us. So this is the first time I've shown all of the interior of that. And it, this is beautiful. I do think I'm going to use some of the inside papers are going to be the um, Good Morning Magnolia papers. So they... They might even be a little more colorful than the this Verdant Garden DSB. I, I think that's what it was called. Anyway, it was part of the garden set. And it, 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 is, is, it is pretty. It's a bit green. And um, so, yeah, ours might be. But I loved how the band together, um, the dyes worked with this set. And the little elements are cute too so this is going to be a cute class september um oh boy let me look here really quick that one's coming up september i believe 27 friday 10 o'clock if you want to do that so make sure you register at my square store for that and um, if you want to do and uh, this online this also is something that you could do online with us and jewel I think you have all of your um, supplies ready for our, that class, the little cowboy boot one we're doing this Friday. That one's going to be very fun too. So you guys have a great week. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to flip the camera up and um, see if I see anything important here that I've been missing. Because <laughs> usually when I flip this up, ah, yes, I see I have a doctor's appointment coming up. I hope it wasn't today. <laughs> um, if it was, I missed it. <laughs> now I need to make sure that I check and see when that appointment is. I'm pretty sure it's tomorrow or Wednesday. And um, so anyhow, um, thank you, Andy, for uh, the encouragement. And I will see you on Friday. And uh, Jewel, we will see you on Friday. And uh, again, anybody who wants to come to the Crow Cottage, you are sure to have fun. And it is beautiful here too right now. This is a wonderful time of the year to come. And, and pretty soon the roses are going to just be going nuts again because the cooler weather at night just really brings them. Oh, yes, Carol, you are coming too. Awesome. I have you already. You are ready to go. And um, so it'll be nice to see you, Carol. You're fun. Um so anyhow, I, um, yeah, it, 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 it's going to be good. Anybody who wants to do um, a class on Saturday, I'm thinking I might have to add a Saturday one in, in uh, November. The, November is a hard month to fit all of our classes in with all the holidays coming up and all. If anybody is interested in doing a Saturday class instead, let me know. I'm really not interested in doing one. Uh, usually we're busy on the weekend. In November we have birthdays and other things going on too, so I don't know that I can fit one in, but I'm thinking of it. We'll see if I can. So anyhow, um, also this coming Tuesday, no, not tomorrow, but a week from tomorrow. I also I'm starting um a an inspired by Stampin' Up class here. It's only five dollars because what we are doing is we are going to bring any old stamp set that you want um to use that you love but you don't use it much anymore. I'm gonna use that Tuesday, one Tuesday every month at the end of the month. Um so it'll be the last Tuesday of every month at 10 a.m. or 10.30, excuse me, 10.30 a.m. here at the Crow Cottage. We are going to, and it's going to be just $5 for everybody except for my team. My team can do it for for free. This is uh, just something for fun for us to do. We get together. And um, I, I, it's a way for me to get some scrapbooking things done. If you want to do a scrapbook page, you could do that. Um, but it also is a way for me to offer people a chance to come and get some of their old stamp sets inspired again to use. Because if you use your old stamps with your new stamps, you are just going to be so much happier with all of your purchases. So I find that if I don't 
purposely use my old stamps. They just sit here and I love them though. So I wanna use them too. And, um, and sometimes it just takes uh, another set of eyes to say, okay, let's use it this way. And then suddenly that old stamp set's fun to use again. So if you have an old stamp set hanging around and you wanna use it, then um, come on by. Again, just five bucks on Tuesday, all right, at 10.30. So anyhow, um, I will definitely see you guys on this Friday and um, and then maybe the next Tuesday, who knows. But you have a great week. God bless you. Um, make sure that if you have any prayer requests, you let me know so that I can add that in to my prayer list. Um, tomorrow I'm going to do another segment for my prayer page, which is You Are Good. And um, this is a way that I'm just giving people a chance that don't... Um, feel comfortable. Some people are comfortable going to their church, but they aren't comfortable giving their prayer requests because they really don't want a lot of questions about those prayer requests. And, um, and so this is just something that I thought might be useful um, to uh, have an opportunity to know things are being prayed about, but they aren't being talked about. All right. I love you guys and I will see you on Friday. And um, after this, oh, I'm going to do the share. So stay tuned. Bye.